right y'all thanks for watching we're going to bring some more upgrades to the red cat gn8 today but first of all i want to just show you kind of what i've done to the truck so far we'll start at the front yeah, i do have a worn winch on it get the lid off here and uh i've had a savox 0231 i believe servo on it for quite some time today but we're going to upgrade that today that's the controller for the winch and I did do some homemade shock relocation brackets here to kind of get a little bit more flex in the suspension. And moving on back here, the next thing we're going to upgrade today is the original ESC that come with it. Did make some homemade shock relocators also for the back. And I used some Arma body post here, just mounted them in like so. We'll flip it over here and go over the bottom. In my last video, you saw the servo protector plate here. And I did put a uh, thing of Vantastic over it, which is basically just sheet metal with an adhesive back. And it just covered the holes that were in here, so it just slides over the rocks a little bit better. Did get the uh, hub carriers here in aluminum. And I've got brass weights here and these wheels are also weighted with uh, quarter ounce automotive wheel weights i just run them around the wheel put some tape around it and then uh, stuck it in the foams they, they're nice and heavy do a great job and another mod that i've done a lot of guys have issues with this link bracket here coming loose and what happens it moves back and forth and your whole axle will slide left and right takes away a lot of your steering. So what I done, I plan on never taking this off again. So I used some Gorilla Glue five minute epoxy and I took this loose and I used the epoxy on the screw threads just like I would Loctite. And I screwed that in tight on the axle and then I just went all around it and put a nice bead of that five minute epoxy and so far it's holding up well. If I ever do have to remove this, my plan is to go ahead and get the aluminum axle casing and the aluminum links and completely do away with this anyway. But right now, this is working great. So moving on back, last week I did get rid of this little hump here. I raised the transmission up. As you can see right here, I just used some old shock eyelets, raised the transmission up, got rid of that, put some fantastic on that and some shoe goo. So far it's doing good. Slides a whole lot better across the rocks. Moving on back, I did get the aluminum upgrades for the axle ends here, and as well as the brass weights. And these tires and wheels are weighted also with automotive weights. And something I done from factory, when I relocated these shocks here, I had to take and move this shock mount from the inside to the outside to clear this shock post. So right now it's got a lot of flex. So what we're installing today is the Hobby Wing Quick Run 1080. It's a much better ESC. It's highly programmable. And for $45, you can't beat it. It'll be much better than the Hexfly speed control in this truck. And the best thing about this is I can change the voltage output to the servo. And if you can read on that, that is six volts, BEC, six volts. And this will be much, much more power going to a steering servo. This Savox has been a good servo, but it's not quite as strong as I need it to be. So I thought I would try one of these 35 kilogram servos off of Amazon saw a few videos on YouTube where guys were using these in their crawlers and uh, a lot of reviews talked highly of them and I'll be able to push 7.4 volts to that servo with this speed controller. So I'm not gonna do the install on video. I'll get it all wrapped up here and show you guys what it looks like. Guys, now we've got the 35 kilogram Amazon servo installed. And it's not very fast, but it's extremely powerful. So here's left and right on it.
very good turning radius, much stouter than the Savox $35 servo. All right, y'all, well, you got the mods installed on this Gen 8 and uh, done a little quick test out in the yard. Does quite a bit better as far as the modulation of the throttle is concerned, and it uh, has a better drag brake as well. So I've got everything in and uh, done some wire loom, kind of cleaned things up a little bit. Looks good. That servo is extremely strong. Not as fast as some, but very strong. So we'll see how the durability holds up on it. We've got the Hobby Wing 1080 in. Got wire loomed all up nice. Looks pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.